Welcome to the 36th episode of the Decompression Chamber. I'm your host, Mario, as always. But uh, opening quote today is going to be from your boy, Sigmund Freud. Apparently it was a big deal in uh, psychological circles. Anyway. Unexpressed emotions will never die. They are buried alive and they will come forth later in uglier ways. Roll the intro. Yeah, so um, I can't lie, I'm filming this video from a bit of a weird perspective. Basically, it was real sunny and nice out today. So, um, me and my flatmates at uni, we just we brought a few beveronis out to the park. I brought a towel and my uh, my memory foam neck pillow to lie on, notebook to not write shit in, and we just threw a fucking rocket around. It was good fun. It was a nice day. It was actually just chill, just lying in the sun. I probably got a little bit burnt, but, um, you know, if you don't burn, you don't tan. That's what they say in my circle. Um, that's not actually what anyone says in my circle. I just... I'm the kind of person, yeah, where... If I burn slightly, then it will turn into a tan, and then that will just build up more and more over time. So that's cool, but also I've heard that getting burnt twice a year or something can raise your skin cancer percentage, like chance of getting skin cancer up to 10%. So everything is worrying, everything's not worrying, that's the world we live in. But in any case, I, uh, most people went back before me because um, it kind of got cold in the afternoon. Um, well, not cold, but you know, less warm. And I just kind of stayed out there, still fucking drunk, just laying in the sun, enjoying it, listening to music. And then I stumbled back on my ones. Um, I'm like, wow, I'm actually more drunk than I anticipated. Maybe it's the dehydration from the sun. I could have drank more water. In any case, I fucking make it back home. I'm watching a film on my laptop in my room at, I'd say, close to 5 p.m. And then I wake up. It's 10 p.m. It's dark outside. I thought it was the morning, truthfully. So for a very disorienting minute, disorientating minute, I thought it was the morning when I realized it's 10 p.m. at night, right now, tonight. So I can't lie, I feel like I've time traveled a bit. I'm not really a good napper. Um, I'm often someone where if I'm, because I'm a deep sleeper, like if I sleep, I'm asleep and I'll, go, I'll be asleep for a long time. And uh, if I'm awake, I am awake and I won't be back to sleep for a long time so napping i often find difficult but apparently this adventure was uh augmented by alcohol and my body was just like now nah, mario it is time for you to just be put out and you know quite successfully i was put out so congrats to the uh the sun for doing so but yeah you know we move we live we continue um it's been a very relaxing reading week so far, if that doesn't indicate any further for you. But, um, it just kind of... Is today Tuesday? Oh my god, it's already gone quite quick, I can't lie. In any case, we're already at Tuesday. I'm looking forward to going back uh, to Easter on Saturday. Not back to Easter, back to Bristol, but, um, I'm going back to Bristol for Easter. So, there you go. In any case, um... The big long three month stint that I was at uni, uh, I was stuck at home, sorry, from uni. The first month I was able to see my friends because they were actually back home as well. But um, the last two months, a lot of them went back to uni. So I was kind of just like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. So it'll be nice to go back to Bristol, get the whole gang together. See, now that all this COVID stuff's falling off a cliff, and, and numbers, cases, rates, everything is, is going down. Um, it feels pretty good, you know. Um, I can take a walk out in Salisbury and, and it kind of feels like people are about, it kind of feels like the world has depth to it rather than just like a video game where like you put crowd capacity to low because you can't render it in very well, you know, but, um, that's just, there's a lot to be grateful for right now for me. I mean, I've, I've actually watched the film that I'm basing my essay off, which is a good start. Um, I'm now, you know, writing mind maps and thinking of ideas, thinking of ways to link it. Uh, basically, I've I've chosen an essay question on um, ideology, and um, because it's uh, because I, the film that I'm studying is a Spanish one, I think I'm going to link ideology to representation. Um, so yeah, I think representation is really important. Um, it's a bit of a weird issue in in media though, because I think people focus a lot on the on-screen representation, which is important. But I feel like something that gets spoken less for is um, like how diverse, how diverse, like the what goes behind it will be. You know, like um, I listen to podcasts with people who like are writers and stuff, or um, particularly comedians, just because I find that shit entertaining. And something I realize is that 
they speak a lot about how these studios and these these executives are just a boardroom full of old white guys and they're telling you to to make sure that the cast is diverse and it's like yeah the cast should be diverse i agree but it's also like the car the cast should be diverse the crew should be diverse the fucking the company in charge of funding things should be diverse like i think one thing that um our current system of habitation our whole bloody capitalism thing does well is that it does its best to kind of quell you in your space you know and I guess the way it pertains to media will be like, hey, look, let's portray uh, the actors and actresses in a in a diverse way, both like race and um, eth- ethnicity and, and se- sexuality and and all that kind of stuff. But what they what they will do is they'll do that as a as a kind of smoke screen to ensure that they can maintain their own status quo as they are. You know, it's kind of deceptive, but that's just the world we live in. We can only hope that slowly, bit by bit, we can progress over time, and then. We'll see where we are. It might be a new world. It might be a new world. And, um, yeah. I mean, truthfully, I there's a lot more that I could have done today in terms of work or, or fucking the side project that I'm working on. But sometimes you just have to take a moment, look outside and be, hey, it's a nice day. Let's just spend a nice day out in the sun. Because <laughs> here in Britain we don't get many. I mean, um, that's the thing is... Um, in my opinion, if you don't think summer is the best season, you're a fucking idiot. I just I just don't see how summer isn't the best season. It just always is. It's warm. The days are long. You're, you're often, you know, that's when you're off from school back in the day or you might have a long stint off work or whatever. Um, or even if you are working, you can still fucking get out by the end of the day and see the, see the sun, which isn't true for, um, for lots of times. I mean... I remember my gap year when I was working in this olive company, which it was it was kind of fun because all the all the employees were Spanish, so it kind of felt like very homely to me. But also it was hard work. You're working in a cold fucking food processing room with machine noise going all day and someone's speaker just banging out, you know, rock FM or whatever. And um, I remember these t- this two week period in the winter where I'd get in before it got light and I'd leave after it got dark. So the only time I'd ever see the sun would be like on my lunch break, sat outside eating my fucking sandwich. And I'll tell you what, that's it, it's not so much now when it's sunny outside, but that's when you realise the power of the sun. When you don't see it for an entire, like for barely a week. And um, you're just fucking, you're night man or whatever, you know? Day man. Ah, fighter of the night man. Ah, oh, anyway, <laughs> sorry, I kind of had to put that in there, um, in any case, this, the sun is powerful, vitamin D is important, um, and just feeling like a human who operates in the world is important as well, I don't know whether that makes sense to you, but like, for me it's an essential, it's an essential must, and and I say that as someone who spends a lot of their time lying in bed like a fucking, um, like I'm in the matrix and ha- and I haven't been pulled out, maybe that's a, that's probably quite a good analogy, in any case, what? Well, I just say that because a lot of the time I'm plugged into the internet, so it kind of makes sense. But yeah, if you don't think summer's the best season, you are mistaken. You're sorely mistaken. And um, obviously I'm saying this with huge personal bias. I mean, some of the best memories of my lifetime, like I always list as the number one best memory of my life is when Spain won the World Cup, July 11th, 2010. I still remember the date. I still remember the feeling of sitting down in my bed that night and thinking, wow, what a fucking moment. And... um that's just one memory, I mean, I've got so many, one of the biggest privileges and benefits of my life is that summer after summer after summer, I had amazing holidays with my family in Spain, and we'd be driving to beaches, listening to music, and going for ice creams afterwards, and it's like, at the time I'm enjoying it, I'm I'm chilling, but when you're not there, you realise how bloody magical it is, you realise that time together with a family like that is priceless, and, and those memories that you make is they're worth their weight in gold, like, a lot of the time I look back and I think about myself as younger, and I, th- I wish I could just tell myself, just, just enjoy the moment, just chill, enjoy the moment, look around you, and, and be glad for where you are, and that's what I'm trying to do now, you know, now that I have a bit more self-awareness, you know, that's arguable, but, um, now that I have at least some agency in my life, and some, uh, autonomy, I can, I can bring it upon myself to be like, yeah, you know what? This moment is fucking sick. I'm just glad enough to just sit here and enjoy this moment. And I think that's not something that you can just snap on, do easily. I think that's something that takes practice. It it takes a lot of restraint and um, 
I guess, awareness of your surroundings and the world you're in to be like, sometimes, even if you're antsy to do something, it's better to just sit and enjoy where you are rather than focus on where to next or what you're looking forward to next because, you know, if you're always looking forward to where you're going to next, your life will slip right by and, um, you know, we only get one shot, blah blah, blah. you can't go back, uh, I'm not really one to believe in reincarnation in an ironclad way, so I quite like the idea that once it's done, it's done, so for the one that you have, it's nice to just sit in the moment, listen to music, enjoy the company of the people in your life, appreciate the love that you feel, and um, try and share it a little bit, you know. So thank you very much for spending the time watching this video, if you have. Um, if you haven't, then suck my chode, but uh, I, it's kind of paradoxical, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, have a good one. Cap on for the shade, uh, I don't want to give myself no option, so I drop the visor just to wake up. Ain't no tripping over pay stubs, ain't no tripping on the vague stuff. All the things that I can make up, I might think I'm not a maker. Wait, 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 wait. No gray I see, never think about the consequences if you hate.